to worry too much about my sailors either. Just taking the tip of the cape should be enough to um, to get all the war score I need. But we can at least explore around here as well. How very tragic. I think Futa Yalon area is just going down a bit. I don't care that much. That's one down, next one down, and we're good to go. And I don't think there's anything else I want or need to convert at this point. Uh, I mean, Dio, I suppose, but controlled by the Dimmy kind of gets in the way of that, and it's not a big deal. Kicking them out would make them particularly unhappy, though. Particularly unhappy. Yeah, I truly have no real need for conversion right now. Converting your lands would be good for keeping you stable, but... But eh, I'm just going to get rid of that um, rid of that advisor when I can. Pilgrims are safe, as expected, because we're the best. And the conversions are done. Get away, you expensive guy. Oh man, they're all expensive. Ugh, I don't want to... I really don't want to sack people when i got no cheap alternatives. But it's expensive. Very expensive. But I do like admin. God, it's so expensive. Mm. Keep you around for a bit. What do we have here, though? I think you'll find that we've restored Al Andalus since we managed to get the Andalusians, all of them. Yeah, most of them. Back to being good old Sunnis. So, what do we get for this? For nearly eight centuries, Southern Iberia was known to the Islamic world as Al Andalus and was a shining beacon of prosperity. Damn right, those claims, and oh my, that war score cost versus other religions. That's about to be very useful right now. And this is what I really wanted to claim on the Aragon area. Perfecto. We're about to end the Kingdom of Portugal, and that'll get us a new world. And when I take over, oh, this is a lot to take, isn't it? Area, area. Okay, I need Aragon and all that. A lot of admin and a lot more claims, essentially sealing off the rest of Iberia, and I will. Wonderful. Very, very wonderful. Still, one thing that I really want to do is get the core creation cost before I do this. Uh, dip might take a bit too long, but if I spend admin on it, then that's kind of counter to the everything point. Ah, oh, what the hell, I'll do it anyway. Manpower, core creation cost, global settlers, it's all pretty good. And since uh, taking provinces just got a lot cheaper, they'll say yes to my peace deal. But I'm going to take this first anyway, and then explore the region. When I take this, I can have my ships repair as well. Jake, you going to finish the mission tree? I, I don't think so. It's going to take me in directions that I'm not interested in going in, so... No, I certainly don't think so. So I saw on the YouTube comments when I explained how to uh, select ships and to detach individual uh, regiments and units and that. A lot of people going, wow. One guy in particular, he's probably watching now, saying, I've played for 4,000 hours and I didn't know that. Damn. And then I just sniggered. Alright, we know about the coast. What is out there? There's a nation. It's called Sasashi. Their tech is pretty garbage, so I can come over and take it all up. But the development from what we see is still so bad. This is the poorest show of a um, new world that I've ever seen. But we got extra colonial range from the a new world thing, right? Right. When we... Uh, or does that come when we slaughter Portugal? Yeah, we need to slaughter Portugal first. Anything you could be doing? More banks to check out and make it happen. Remember the old days when Jake uh, hated hotkeys because I could accidentally delete my whole army, remember? Some people just got no memory. Lazy dips. Very lazy dips. Let's keep Tunis sweet. Otherwise, there's really not much use in me impressing any Euro powers except perhaps Denmark, but I already flipped them off. Is there anybody who's on the fence who I would prefer not to be in the coalition against me? Definitely Bohemia. 
and almost definitely Poland. Austria hate my guts, but I could get them out of it. Oh no, I've already improved relations with them. Who else is kind of on the fence, but a huge danger to me? Ah, Poland are pretty big. Let's keep them off my back and forget about improving relations with you. It's as high as it goes. I always like keeping a wild card diplomat so that I have the freedom to do things. You know what? You know what? I have a proposition. What if Portugal didn't exist? Throwing that one out to chat. There's a world out there which contains no Portugal. Should we make it our world? Initially I said I was happy with them existing, just not in Iberia, but think about it for a second, a world without Portuguese. Do you have coring range on it all? Well, uh, not really. Not really. Ah, that's trade range. How could we make a world without a Portugal? We could come back for the rest of this. It would be no big bother. Hmm, Il Bourbon, right, they got further than I thought, didn't they? Okay. And this is in a trade region as well. Okay, we can have a world with no Portugal. I don't like, I don't want to have Sao Tom, I'll just abandon it, it's no big deal. Il Bourbon, or Grugi's Island. Not because of the Bourbon, I'm not, I'm not sure I get that. Ulema or Amirs, I'm a bigger fan of the Ulema, truth be told. But I think I already punched them for their everything. Mm, conquistadors are pretty swell, aren't they? I've made mistakes with the merchant guilds in the past. What I could do is give them charters to keep them a bit happier. But I want that diplo power. New world charter is nice, but hey. Yeah, I need that diplo power so that I can actually go and... Uh, get my core creation. Oh, right, no, I already got that to do it. Well, I still want to ship people off. Away they go. I thought. Mm. No, not happening. I thought maybe I could get a policy or just something to extend my range here. Um, I'm not that far away from it. And I don't have an advisor for it, and I'm not going to push for an advisor when i got such a good one. Right. We will uh, we'll endeavor to destroy Portugal in their entirety. But there's a way to go in chasing them down. And I, I'd actually struggle to get a Cassus Belly on them now. But that's not to say I can't down the line. Or even use the best CB, or make claims on them. I have the idea group in, uh, to do so. Sure, it'll cost a lot to core all this, but why worry about it? Actually, that, that is rather a lot. Still, this will make a lot of people significantly unhappy, but from my point of view, it gets them off my back. Yeah. That is the end of the Kingdom of Portugal. I think I need to do the cores in order to, uh, to say that right. All provinces in this area, Andalusian core. Fair dues. And goodness, are they expensive. That's a scary coalition. Yeah, it's scary. Terrifying, one could even say. But why worry about it? Wasn't I going to ally England? I was worried about being too over my limit here, but... I could dump Songhai. It's not like they hate me. They don't even know what I am. But I still like having Songhai. Well, you know, England will either be against me or with me, so let's make sure that they're with us. Portugal, Tunis, France have finally entered that coalition with us, probably because we allied with Britain. That they were not too fond of. Got Ottomans backing up still. The Ottomans turned on me, and I've, while I've been trying to uh, 
to do stuff about that. It's not been good enough. Well, I should at least make it clear to them that I like them, which I can't because I don't, uh, yeah, it doesn't go that far, does it? Drift coring. I got my corporation cost down pat, and it's probably a good idea to get going with these uh, fairly important promises first. That's what I would say, but I'm not too concerned. Let's just do the far away ones first. Quantity over quality here. And we shall get all of you guys back and deal with Jolos Revolt and feel good about it. There's a slight concern that I could get coalitioned by this smaller coalition that has formed. I hope that they do not, but they still could. And Savoy as well. And Brittany, yeah, just pile them all on. That's nothing, nothing unusual to me. Once we get you done, I'll start sending out more of my colonists. You're all there and ready to roll, right? Then let's go and save Joloff from themselves. Oh, these guys look like they could enforce already. They have a majority of the provinces. I'll sort out my navy, sort out my army, and we'll all be good. Actually, do I even care about helping you against those? I don't think I do. I'd rather save a bit of money. Let's get everybody back home. Let's stop paying for our units so much. And then, uh, what do we have here? Yeah, forget it. I don't care if Castile hate me. They're always going to hate me. They're allied with the remnants of Portugal, so if I get this uh, these cores done, I could head back to Portuguese South, uh, South Africa and deal with them. That sounds pretty ideal to me. Oh yeah, this crappy province I was just going to abandon, because I don't want it. Gold Coast as well, we'll just sign it all up. Now the money isn't coming back to me, which is a bit of a shame. It wouldn't be a lot of money to uh, bring over, but it might be for the better. Right, I'll transfer using the Sibella guy. Where's Portugal's capital? Probably Cape, it's the highest dev. It's not. Well, I got to explore one of their islands for free. Arguin rose up. Why would Arguin rise up? Also, where is Arguin? Oh, right, that's theirs. Kabili separatists. I don't know or care who they are. I really don't know or care who they are. Is that a Joloff full core? It is. Pfeh, let them do what they want. If they revolt, it's just somebody else I can kill. Hmm. In the middle of the ocean, Jake kicked them so far they kept sailing till they ran out of food on an island. Ah, I do like the idea of them starving to death. I think Joloff can't get home, which is part of the problem. And there we go. Kabilia now exist. And I could kill them and take them back immediately as, uh, as our core. Did I take this for me or for them? Okay, um... Huh, do I even want this province? I am coring it after all. It's Portuguese and Catholic. Right, I guess it's important for me to have it so that I can get rid of the Portuguese from it. So it's okay. Is there ever going to be a patch where the other Diplo actions are actually useful in the game? I don't see use for a lot of them, says Olsen 4. I'm um, going to need some specifics there. They all have their use one way or another. Right, so about the wars that are coming up, because the truce timer ticks away ever gradually. Uh, Aragon, December 47, five years from now. May 48, Castile. I need to strike Aragon, then Castile, and take no prisoners. However, that... Um, that... Oh, dear. 1548... The, tr the coalition is going to strike me. I almost guaranteed it will. Check who guaranteed Castile. Why would you do that, GB? Why would you do that? Well, you know, GB. Uh, yeah, GB. Maybe they'll be too busy or revoke it or something. 
attitude towards enemies in Gran uh, Castilian diplomatic opinion going down. It's a damn shame. Get a favor of a year, but that won't be enough for that. Okay, so sorting out my everything. Uh, I would like to keep the armies that I have right now, including the mercs. Simply not pay for them right now. And be happy with that. Spend the interim downplaying the coalition and exile some Iberians. Ah, oh, trust me, I want to exile some Iberians. And I probably can at this point. I want to finish off this, uh, this colony so I get a bit more range. But it's taking forever and a day. So maybe I should focus on taking over this, uh, this island in general. Alright, explore. What did you, what did you find? A bit more land, eh? I'm sure it has good, uh, development. No, God, this, this random new ocean is rough. Rough as they come. Well, no, why did I tell you to do that? I don't want you to do that. Hold off. And actually explore something useful to me, like around here. Then we can track down the Portuguese and kill them. I'm not sure he would survive circumnavigation. He doesn't have that good... Um... This is heretics, right? Yeah, don't need heretic. Don't need heretic power. We're not defensive enough here. Oh, right, I forgot about you. I should improve my relations with Valencia and try to integrate them as soon as I can. 44 seems to be the date. Costs a lot of dip, but this is some damn good land. And it's land that should be mine, and it's land that I can expel people from pretty quickly. This is a bummer, though. The English are... Oh, hey, if I'm at war with the English, I could uh, seize these provinces. And they'll probably be completed before then, because damn, they're good at um, building up colonies. But it's something to keep in mind. Something else to keep in mind is in the next big wars I will not have my overwhelming military tech advantage. I may be on the defensive, which could work for me. So I think from Aragon I need to get Husha as soon as possible. It's a great mountainous fort that kind of blocks this. But the French are around. If I could nibble Navarre off the French, all the better. But there's no fort there. So they can still snake their way around here. These two forts guard the pass into Spania. But I need them for myself. I zone out for three minutes and you're considering war with your new ally, says SS4312. I mean, the only purpose of an alliance is for war. So what does it matter? I'm glad to be making money, but it's not a lot of money. I want more. I want considerably more. Some of these conversions would cost an arm and a leg, but uh, that's okay. My religious uh, unity is not very good, though. I should really start considering shipping these losers off. I mean, I could start by sending a cheeky little Portuguese bunch, but the cost is high for a lot of them. I should start with Shilb. And I should also get this going. Yeah, the dip cost continues to grow here, but uh, bear with me. If I start with shield, that'll make all these cheaper as well, especially you. There's not really any separatism there. Shield, huh? All right, well, get to it. Although I really don't, I just don't want to be colonizing here because it's just arse, arse and chips. If I gave it two years, maybe three, then we'd be able to go further, and I want to get this crap land up here. Then again, let's just make it happen. We'll send out the Portuguese from, what was it, Shilb or something? Shilb. Away they go. It'd be a damn shame if they rose up there, but I'll be ready for them with my units. Portuguese don't deserve high dev land. Well, fortunately, there's no high dev land out there at all. Coalition isn't declaring war on me, which is rather nice, because France alone could kick my bottom. 
but they hate me and war will probably happen, so I should uh, make them my enemy. And the Ottomans also hate France. There is a chance... There is a chance that we could start seeing eye to eye with the Auto Turks. I'd like to have them on my side again. Although they'd probably get mauled by this coalition and cost me. But then I could just surrender their land and be happy for it. Embargo your rivals, Jake. I'm drowning in power projection, but that is a good point. No, the diplomatic actions that I'm doing right now are more important. Also, St. Helena get. That's handy. That is very handy. Particularists want to rise up. They usually rise up in the many. Oh, it's only 8,000. That's fine. That's really fine. Not so fine if it happens while at war, but what are you going to do? Okay, the Ottomans got their peace, and uh, now the Ottomans need to have at least 50 opinion of me, and they certainly don't. Uh. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, they'd almost want to be my friend if there wasn't the whole rivalry business going on. But yes, what I want is to make sure that Bohemia and Poland stay out of coalitions, and as long as opinion is positive, that'll happen. And that will significantly weaken the coalition. Of course, they will jump right back into it when I maul Castile and Aragon, but it's all about that one big war where it's France, HRE, Britain, Denmark, Italy. It's not going to be pleasant for me, I tell you that much for free. Using the Ottoman is beneath Al Andalus. You and Yolof can take all of Europe alone, says Ktac. I like your uh, optimism there. I just think it's uh, sadly misplaced. Is this all I've got in terms of navies? Yeah, there's you out there. It's 10 and 20 that I can merge together, but 9? I could have sworn I'd made another heavy ship. Uh, maybe I'd lost mine. Still, winning on the seas is important as well, and despite the high costs, I'm going to have my, uh, have my ships. Tw uh, 10, 11, 12, 13 is pretty good. How about all my, well, my staggering three light ships? Well, do some work or something. Could you upgrade your heavies? Yeah, but I'm not really keen on paying the cost here. Upgrading all my fleet would cost 420 ducats, and I do not have the kind of money that I want to have right now. Do not have it at all. Tunis is a pretty great ally to have. They're not going to drag me into any wars except potentially Mamluks, and if they do, they'll have Ottomans on their side. Bohemia entered a coalition against Ottomans. Ottomans could well save my bacon in terms of coalition sandwich. Yes, Poland, Austria, Bohemia. They will uh, they will coalition uh, Ottomans instead of me, thereby weakening my coalition. Wonderful, just wonderful. I would like to convert these two provinces. Actually, I may as well, whilst we have the everything going on, and let's stop paying extra on some edicts and instead pay them over here. Just to get it done a bit faster. Any other edicts that I have on unnecessarily? defensiveness. No need for that right now. Let's just try and save a bundle of money right. There we go. The reason I'm converting these two is because they're already Andalusian. The payoff for shipping them abroad isn't that high. Also sucks to be Mali, but that just goes, uh, goes without saying. I could kick Timbuktu out of the coalition by improving relations with them. The same goes for Mali. But them being in the coalition is actually good for me because I can trample all over their troops. Austria is going for Switzerland, despite being in that co. No, they didn't coalition. Hmm. Covert actions like justify trade conflict and supporting rebels and so discontent, sabotage reputation. Never see those. E.g., they're very expensive as well. I yeah, I agree. I do agree. 
pay them at least a little bit more. Let's not go crazy about it though. Now, I, my mission involved, I think, building a mosque in uh, in Kuroba. Province triggered modifier sounds pretty good. Oh right, it just needs to have a mosque or 15 development. Well, I'd sooner build the uh, the mosque than develop it. Show me the money. It's our capital, after all. All the place for capital, given that it's right on the forefront. But I'll take it. Love the alt history, says Hoovy Whoopens Man. Christianity divides itself due to Muslim threat, both west and east. Yeah, and also they're tearing themselves apart in the centre. This is excellent news for me. The fact that Great Britain went Anglican is a big part in why they didn't uh, attack me or join the coalition against me. If they were different religions, they didn't care that much about me eating up Catholics. They still cared more than, say, the Muslims would, but not that bad. Right, nice exploring you've done there. Tell me more about uh, the coastline that Portugal have. Here we go, the settler chance increases because I shoved some people from shield there, but I do want that uh, settler growth to be higher. Forefront now, won't be later. Correct. Ah, Timbuktu and Mali, I could get them out so easily, but... Hmm... Trouble is, I like to be declared a pawn because then it's a show superiority war. Unless... I mean, I can't think of a show superiority CB that I could use against these guys uh, pretty easily. Because winning the battles is what I'm confident my troops can do. Have you thought about a name for your new penal colony? I'll definitely turn to chat for that one. Yeah, these boats ain't cheap, are they? Um, how about I keep you in Luxbuna? Hell, I should keep you all in Luxbuna. This galley seems superfluous. I'm just going to chuck it out. And since it's not really relevant for me, I shall mothball the fleet. H. I thought it was M. Uh, this galley can go away. I get the, uh, the sailors back for it, so it's all good. And yeah, I guess I'll mothball the transports as well. So in that, in that respect, I'll just combine the two. I don't want my transports moving around without protection of the heavies anyway. And here we go, we have ended the Kingdom of Portugal. We cored their whole area really quick because they're in our culture group. And we had the claims. Colonial range increases, settler increase goes way up. Thank you kindly. And if I want to the Iberian Dawn, I'm going to have to get a whole load more from the Iberians. But I will. Isn't that nice? And I think we can take it all. It's just a minor minor point of having to destroy all of them. Britain, what are you doing with that guarantee? You fight me, I'm taking your colonies. I guess your naval prowess is going to get in my way, but we'll try. Two free diplomats, Jake. Yeah, I'm struggling to think where to spend them right now. I have Valencia on scootage, so I don't even have to worry about them not being at war for anything. Uh, oh, I'm in an alright place to get positive relations with the Ottoman. Other than that, I don't think Brandenburg are going to turn a cheek for me. Not many people would. Well, I like having a wild card diplomat anyway. Fetishist zealots in my subject's lands. I don't like that. Especially since my subject can't get their troops back home for now. Dis a Pointing. 18. Surely I should have 16 of you, but oh well. Um, Alright, fair enough. I'm more worried about money than manpower right now, so let's have the mercs be separate from everyone else over in Shilb. And then 4 and 4 is 8, and we'll have 10 of you as well. Will Great Britain still guarantee Castile if you mark their provinces as vital interest? They might be trying to protect them from fra you make a point. I mean, I've already made it clear that I want all this land, but what if I make it super clear that I want all this land? 
as in Nova 